Hey guys, so today I have the pleasure of interviewing Miss Globe 2020, Lorinda Colgesis from Kosovo, and we're just waiting for her to log on. Big thanks to my friend Jean Flores for facilitating this interview, and a big thanks to the Miss Globe organization for allowing this interview. So we're just waiting for Lorinda to log in. Hopefully the connection is good. I did my best and I got my crown. <laughs> <laughs> Now, um, how did you become interested in pageants? I know, are you, are you a model? Are you a fashion model? Yeah, I've uh, been doing modeling in Kosovo since I was uh, 15, I'm 21 now. Mm -hmm. And I did like photo shootings and advertisements and stuff with the best designers in Kosovo and in region in Albania and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that made me go further and think more about the pigeons. Right. And I think that I made a good choice because I had a great experience there. Mm -hmm. And I will never forget it. I'm actually looking at your Instagram account and I see a lot of beautiful mm -hmm. uh, photos. And oh my God, you're just... oh. I, like this. I like this one. <laughs> love that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I took this in Albania. I love in the, the dinner one of the nights. <laughs> this one. I, I love that dress, actually. Okay. <laughs> I love that dress. And yeah, course, I like, wore like these casual, two like in casual, the, like casual in photos the, like that one. In Albania. <laughs> yeah, that one too. So you, you have a lot of uh, uh, good photos. Are you familiar with um, famous? Yeah photographer Fadil Berisha. He's a very famous Albanian photographer. Uh, yeah, Fadil he Berisha. Yeah, he, he is one of the best photographers in, in the world. Our history from Albania and Kosovo. Yeah. And uh, I didn't have a chance to work with him yet, but I hope that soon I'll have a chance to meet him and do some great work with him because I believe he is one of the best photographers mm -hmm. and give the models a great opportunity in worldwide. Exactly, right. Um, how tall are you? Yeah. You're what? Are you six feet tall? You're very tall. I'm 185 centimeters. I think it's six feet 0.1, I guess. Oh, wow. You are very tall. Because in centimeters, it's 185. <laughs> Wow, because when I when I see you on stage compared to the other girls, they're much shorter. I mean, you're very tall, and all the other ones are very short. <laughs> so, like, I think, Ms. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, Miss Philippines, Miss Philippines is, is petite. She's very short. Yeah, she's uh, she's fourth runner up, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, she uh, she's the fourth runner up, and she was one of the greatest girls I've ever met, and mm -hmm. she's great. She's yeah, great. I was one of the taller girls. I, I was the tallest girl there. Yeah. And your first one up, Miss Siberia, is also tall, I think. Yeah, she was the second tallest, yes. I guess. And Miss yes. Serbia was uh, one of the tallest girls, too. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, I, I think you're very lucky because, you know, usually when you go to high fashion, they prefer tall girls. And... Um, you know, because yeah, they, look, they look better. They look better on the runway, and also you're thin. You're tall and thin, and uh, clothes always look good on thinner people. I think <laughs> you you can wear wh whatever you want, and you still look good because you're thin. You're tall and you're thin, so you're you're very blessed. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> yeah, especially in high fashion. Yeah. It's more preferred to be tall and thin. So yeah, <laughs> I'm lucky, I guess. So you're 21. Let me see. Uh, did you finish uh, school? Did you did you finish college? Yeah, I finished my bachelor studies in biotechnology and nutrition. It's like food technology with biotechnology and nutrition. And now I will continue with my master degree. Mm -hmm. uh, with biotechnology and I'll just uh, focus more in school because I've uh, that's why 
I left like modeling and these kind of things a little, a little bit more behind because I wanted to focus more on school. Mm -hmm. And after I, I f this year, I finished my bachelor's studies. So I thought that it was the right moment to apply to a pageant. And it was the, the exact time to make it. Right. Well, I think, of, you know, I think I imagine among the prizes that you won is money. So there's a cash prize to go with the title and the crown. So I, I'm sure the money will help pay for your education, you know, so that's good. Now, um, so let's say, how, tell us about your, your family. Do you come from a big family? Do you have sisters, brothers? Yeah, I have a sister. She's younger than me and she's the best gift that my parents could ever give to me. Is and she, she I think tall? that she will, <laughs> yeah, she's also tall. She's 14. Oh my God. And I think that she will even fit more in this world of modeling and pageantries. I think that she she will fit better in this and I will try to help her even more. <laughs> now, who is your role model? Who do you look yeah, up? Yeah, my role, my role model and the person that I dedicate everything uh, to as my mom because I've lost her like four years ago and oh, everything that I do and um, I try to do my best it's always for her so she's always my role model oh okay so you're basically just you your sister and your father it's just the three of you yeah okay all right yeah so it's just the three of us okay so um, okay, so you 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 you're going to for your master's degree, and then hopefully you'll be successful in getting your master's degree. Now, after after your your master's degree, what do you plan to do with your degree as work? Because you can't be a model forever, so you have to have a stable job. What is your dream job? Uh, that's why I try to balance every time my hobby because my because my hobby uh, was always modeling and I always try to focus on school and try to make a stable um, occupation for my future. Mm -hmm. So I guess that a dream job is like something that energizes your mind, your future, your well, like everything mixed up will make your dream job because everyone determines its dream job di in different ways. Someone sees it like to have uh, a stable incoming uh, wealth for every day. Someone sees it like to help people. And I think that all of these make like a dream job complete. So for my future, I like uh, to have a stable life, have a stable job and try to help people worldwide. That's uh, and one thing that I always mentioned, even when I was in uh, the Miss Globe competition, it was like uh, something that beauty should be in diversity and beauty should be accept accepted in all the ways. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I totally agree. I totally agree. Because I think you really, you really don't need uh, to win a pageant to be able to do good things or to be able to reach out to less fortunate people. But I think that the fact that you're having a crown, that you have a title, uh, gives you more attention. People, people, people look up to beauty queens as a source of inspiration. And uh, for example, when you go to a hospital as Miss Globe 2020, you're wearing a crown, you're wearing a sash, you walk in a hospital full of sick children you'll probably bring a lot of joy and smile to those uh, children, uh, you know, because they see you a beautiful young woman, you know, you, you smile, you bring a lot of joy and happiness to them. So yeah, so in that case, beauty queens are very, very important. Now, what yeah, do you, yeah, what do you say to uh, people who uh, do not like pageants, to people who think that pageants objectify women 
or uh, sexualize women? In other words, feminists. What do you think of feminists who hate beauty pageants? What do you have to tell them? Uh, a lot of girls have like their program in the Miss Globe like feminism. And they wanted to tell everyone that uh, the peasant priest should be respected and should uh, should be accepted worldwide because uh, it's not only that we represent our beauty or ourselves in there, we represent our countries in our best way. And as females, we try to represent our best features. And I think that every girl should be so confident in their everyday life and uh, should never be scared to show their flaws. They should be proud of everything that they have and always have a smile with you. It's like one of the, one of the main things that a beauty queen has to always have with her is a smile. Exactly, exactly. So it, does, it doesn't matter if you feel bad or sad inside, you still have to smile because that I, a lot of people don't realize it's very, very hard to become a beauty queen. It's very, very difficult, you know, because you always have to, to present your best outward to, to the public. So yeah, but a lot of people don't realize that. Now, if your sister, would you, would you encourage your sister to join a pageant someday if she wants, if she wants to? Yeah, definitely. I will try to help her and I'll try her. I'll try to make her do even better than me. And I hope she'll get a crown too one day. <laughs> well, maybe, I'll try my best to help her. Maybe she should apply for uh, Miss Universe, represent Kosova for Miss, in Miss Universe. Maybe. Yeah, she's 14 now. And I get like for like three years later, she'll be able to- Three or four, yeah. Go, Fly for Miss Universe Kosovo first, and then why not in Miss Universe? <laughs> yeah, I mean she, she has she has plenty of time. She's very young, and you you can you can prepare her. You can you can train her yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's why I know I know now what I did like wrong, not wrong, but that what I could do better and stuff, so I can teach her better for yeah this journey. <laughs> <laughs> so um, okay, so you're you're at Miss Glow pageant. You're in Albania. Did you experience any um, any inconvenience or any discomfort while you were uh, at the pageant? Did they treat you very nicely, the organizers? Yeah, actually, I didn't think it would be that good. It was great. The organization and everything was great. They were. Uh, they comfort us in every every way mm -hmm. we felt like home every girl not just me that i was like here like in my home but i think that every girl was feeling in her best way and i want to thank them all for giving us this opportunity in this situation because we all needed something like that we all were like in this situation stuck at home trying to respect all the rules that our governments gave us. And I think that it was in a great moment and it was a great feeling for all of us. That's wonderful. Um, I have been following Miss Glow pageant for about, I'd say about 10 years. And um, I read some history about the pageant. In the beginning, mm -hmm. I, was, I had very negative um, uh, comments or a, a opinion about about Miss Globe, because the word Miss the pageant Miss Globe, there are actually several Miss Globe pageants in the world, but the pageant that you won is the one and only authentic Miss Globe. So that's why they they call it the Miss Globe, not just Miss Globe, but they call it the Miss Globe. It's the real Miss Globe. Yeah, pageant. the Miss. Yeah. So, so, but a lot of people are. Yeah, it has uh, headquarters in Canada too, I guess, mm -hmm. and in Albania. Mm -hmm. so, uh, but I think that it gave me a great opportunity to make connections worldwide right. for my future and yeah. my modeling career. It was it great. Opened a lot of doors. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you're 21. Uh, you're a millennial. Okay, 
So what do you think um, is the biggest problem facing your generation today or young people today? I think the biggest problem or what can I call it in our generation is technology. It helps us in all the ways, but I think that it made us uh, colder with each other and made like the feeling of love and giving hugs and yeah. mm, the feeling of missing someone is like colder, I think, these days because of the technology, because it's we're all only one call away. And it has all like its good effects and the bad side effects in the other way, because technology these days is also substituting uh, the work of a human body and right. it's making yeah, it's making uh, working places not needed because everything that a uh, human body could do it till today, the machines are doing it nowadays. So mm -hmm. one of the things that it's like a problem and a big, big up for our community these days is technology, I think. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think technology has a lot of advantages, but also a lot of disadvantages. I think yeah. for a lot of young people, like what you said, yeah, you're correct when you when you said that technology prevents people from becoming more intimate, like a, a physical contact, the social interaction, you know, the normal uh, connection between people. So that's the um, one aspect. Um, so, uh, have you ever been bullied in your life, in your past, at school? Has anybody said negative, bad things about you online or bullied you or abused you verbally? Uh, I think that not bullied, thankfully not, but everyone in their life got negative comments. For example, sometimes I got comments like, oh my God, you're so thin or you're so tall. And uh, they weren't like, so negative thoughts in my mind. They didn't make me feel bad or something because I was always pr proud of myself and my body. So uh, I think that bullying these days is so one of the worst things that could ever happen to to children mostly because it uh, it makes them grow in that uh, in that thing and when they grow up they can see the negative sides of it and they will always show it like it will give you a bad energy for even for more years not uh, only when you're a yeah. child or something and I think bullying is one of the worst things that could ever happen to someone mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you're thin or you're thick you're tall or you're short that's why uh, everyone should be accepted in the way that they are and uh, should be accepted in the society uh, in every way that they feel and they are. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's, that's a great um, attitude uh, because especially you know, young people, they're very vulnerable. Um, I think the younger, the younger the person is, the more vulnerable there are to bullying or to uh, criticism, especially negative uh, criticisms, say. But um, okay, so let's move on. Um, I have a very interesting question for you. If you could be, um, if you could have any superhuman power, what would it be and why? Uh, I'm a person that love animals very much. And you know, me too, I, I love animals too. Yeah, I love animals so much. And um, I think that being able to understand uh, their words and to be able to communicate with them would be a superhuman power that I would love to have. Oh, you know what? I agree. Uh, I totally agree because I think, <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny you mentioned that because I th if all animals were able to speak our language, there wouldn't be any animal cruelty or animal suffering because they could express yeah, their pain so right, way, right? 
So yeah, I mean, yeah, I totally agree. And it's so important for our everyday life. Like even the air that we breathe, it's because of the environment we live with from flowers, from animals, from everything that we have around. So I think it's really important. Mm -hmm. Do you have any pets? The botanic and... Yeah. Do you have any dogs or cats? I had a dog for like three years. Yeah, I had a dog for like three years, but I didn't have enough time to look after him, even though I love him so much, but it's like a baby. You have to raise him like a baby, but I uh, gave it as a gift to oh. one of my friends. And I know that uh, he's in good hands now and he's having a great treat. And I go and meet him like once in a month. That's and cool. So he, he remembers you. I think she's looking really great after him. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Well, I think right now, you know, since you're um, a beauty queen and you're very busy, um, it's very hard to take care of a pet, especially if you're traveling a lot and if you're always very busy. So, you know, but hopefully someday. Yeah, it is really down. hard. It's like a baby. He needs a lot of effort to look after him. So mm -hmm. I think that it would be better if someone gave him all the energy that he needs because it really needs a lot of effort to look after him. So if you were to come back in the next life as an animal, what animal would you be and why? Yeah, oh, nice question. <laughs> From nowadays, I really need a lot of sleep and I would like to be a koala for some days and sleep for like 18 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm so tired, <laughs> but I love uh, cute, dolphins yeah. a lot. Yeah, they look. Yeah, they are so cute and they look so peaceful. And uh, the dolphin sounds are the sounds that every pregnant woman uh, tries to make their baby hear while while they're still on their stomach. So I think it has so uh, such a cute voice and everything that a pregnant woman make their babies uh, listen to them yeah. while they're still there. And so right. I think they are really cute and they all, sh every, every animal should be treated in the best way. Right. Oh yeah, I totally agree. Now, um, I know certain pageants uh, focus on a specific uh, platform or advocacy. I know what uh, Miss Globe. What is Miss Globe's uh, focus or platform? Uh, the Miss Globe platform was uh, my program there. For the Miss Globe platform was uh, beauty in diversity and trying to make everyone comfort about their bodies and their faces and their selves. And my program there was every time uh, focusing in there to make every woman in the world feel comfort with what they are and how they feel and uh, make them be proud of, our, of uh, their selves and make them try to achieve all their goals in their life and never stop going after them. Okay, so in, a, in other words, beauty uh, and diversity. So that's the, the main advocacy of Miss Globe. So in other, words, in other words, there is no height requirement in Miss Globe. There's no weight requirement, correct? So I imagine. Yeah, I think that the height uh, requirement actually is 173. Okay. Uh, but I think that there were girls shorter than 173, mm -hmm. but uh, it's different in in continents and countries. Not everyone has like uh, big heights in in general. So mm -hmm. I think that even girls under 173 should be accepted because not all their countries and their race in at all is uh, tall. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, why I think that girls from different heights should be accepted. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think that the weight and the perfectionism in body shape is like 90, 60, 90 should not be 
really considered these days because um, there are a lot of girls that don't have the perfect body shape it's like 90 60 90 but mm -hmm. uh, it looks beautiful on them even though if they're thinner or thicker cool, it yeah. it looks better on them okay um let's say a few years from now you come back and you get to judge miss globe pageant what qualities will you be looking for in a winner? I think that um, the winner, as I would see her in, like, in my face, should uh, be someone that uh, should know how to represent herself at first, have always a smile with her, have, uh, have something to show the world because the main thing of these pageantries is something is the advocacy that you show the world. Mm -hmm. And I think that women nowadays have a lot of ways uh, to show the world that they worth it and they can do everything that they want to. So I think that one of the biggest things that I would judge would be the presence and the way that they talk to the organizers and the directors those days. And that's how I would judge the next Miss Globe. Well, also you have to have a good attitude, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course, you, you cannot be, you, you cannot be, uh, you know, short tempered or complain a lot, or, you know, you have to be very positive all the time. And that's another thing one of the yeah. uh, most challenging things of being a beauty queen, you know, because you always have to put on a, a good face. Now, next question. Do you have any hidden talent? <laughs> Do you understand? Do you have any hidden talent? Hidden talent. Yes. <laughs> no, actually, I don't. Uh, in the talent show competition in the Miss Globe, yeah. I was thinking about like, what can I do? Okay. And um, the best thing that fit to me was doing my national Albanian dance there. <laughs> okay. And dancing my national. Albanian dance makes me go to the finals of the talent competition and it made me feel really good because I wasn't really sure about what to do there. So it made me feel really good. That's wonderful. Do you, are you, do you play any music? Do you play piano, guitar? Uh, I had some uh, piano lessons when I was younger. Okay. But I only know like some essential notes and stuff not something too much but i love music at all like i love listening to music but i'm not really good at singing or something <laughs> but i love listening to it <laughs> so what what kind of music do you listen to what is your like favorite music do you listen to uh, pop music to uh jazz uh rap rock 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 and roll i listen like to every genre of music but my favorite i think is R&B and pop. Okay. I'm more into R&B, pop, rap. That's what I listen more to. Do you like, do you like um, Lady Gaga? Yeah, uh, she was my idol when I was like 12 or 13. She was one of my favorite singers. Okay. Yeah, she's amazing. And you know what? Yeah, she you know, um, there, is, there is one singer that I really, really like. Dua Lipa. She's amazing. Yeah, Dua Lipa is from Kosovo. She's from Kosovo. <laughs> she lives exactly. in England. Yeah. Yeah, but she's from Kosovo. Yeah, but she's she's amazing. She's beautiful. She's tall and she's very, very talented. So I yeah, love she, yeah. I love her music. So um and she is successful worldwide now. So oh, it definitely. makes us feel proud even more. Yeah. Now if I were to visit your country, Kosovo, which interesting places would you take me to? 
Kosovo is known for its nightlife mostly. Okay. But for from the situation this year, we're all like in lockdown and not everything is going great. <laughs> but uh, the nightlife in Kosovo is great. But it also has a lot of places to visit like mountains, lakes. And uh, it's a place called Prizran. It's like an older city and it has a lot of museums and stuff that you can visit there so it's one of the most beautiful cities in Kosovo and I love it so much it's like 30 minutes from Pristina because Pristina is the capital city of uh, Kosovo and I live in Pristina mm -hmm. but there are a lot of places that you can you can visit here mm -hmm. So there is no, um, Kosovo is a landlocked country. There's no body of water surrounding Kosovo. You don't have any oceans or lakes, right? Because it's, it's right. Uh, no, we don't have oceans or seas. Yeah. We only have lakes mm -hmm. and rivers, uh, but we can go to sea in Albania for like three hours. Uh, it's the Adriatic Sea. Mm -hmm. So it's nearby. Okay. Um, let's say, okay, describe, describe to us your uh, dream vacation. If you had the chance to plan your vacation with you, just by yourself or with your boyfriend or with your family, where would you go? What would you do? If I was asked right now where I could go, I'd love to go to Maldives because the weather here now is so cold, cold. <laughs> and it was rainy all the day and I don't love rain at all and I would love to go to some place that is sunny and see and have some drinks some great food and that's what I love to do right now. <laughs> well you can you can go to um, southern France isn't southern France warm south of France in Provence or maybe Southern Italy, it's warm. Oh. It's not too far from Kosovo or Greece. I'd love to. You can go to Greece. It's not too far, but because uh, we have problems with visa and stuff, we still uh, don't have the liberalization of visas. So if you want to go in Europe, we need visas. And if I actually want to go to Maldives, you just get like uh, a view on, on the airport of uh, of the country you go, for example, they can make it, the agency can make it for you. Mm -hmm. It's not that we have to go and wait and stuff for uh, those kind of places. But if we want to go for like in Italy or France, we need to get a visa. Mm -hmm. How many countries have you visited? The only place that we can go without a visa in Europe is Turkey. Oh, okay. So uh, how many countries have yeah. you visited so far? Uh, one of the places that I go the most and I really love it is Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've also visited places in Europe like France, Belgium. And I think that everyone that could visit Paris would be their dream place to always of visit. Course. And I would, I would go there again. <laughs> it's like a wonderful place. I really loved it. Yeah, I think if I think, was... I think if you want if you want to pursue a successful modeling career, you have to go to Paris, Paris or Milan or New York. <laughs> yeah, it, definitely, definitely. And but Paris, it has like its its culture and its mm, the fashion thing. It's, it's really good there. Yeah. I'd love to. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Paris, Paris is everything. I lived, I lived in Paris for for a year, so I, I know what it's like there. It's, oh, it's nice. beautiful. I never, I, I never wanted to leave. <laughs> so, okay. You know, have you played the game called Fast Talk? Fast Talk. So no. what I'm going to do? Okay, it's a, it's a little game that I play with my um, okay. movies. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to mention two things, and then you choose. Okay what you think is your your favorite. Ready? Oh, nice, okay. Okay. Chocolate or ice cream? 
Oh, chocolate all the time. I love chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all do. We can't. Nobody can survive without chocolate. We we all need chocolate in our. Yeah,、life. I really can. <laughs> yeah. Uh, TV or YouTube? YouTube. I really don't have a lot of time to watch TV in these days,、mm -hmm. so I'm always more into YouTube. I can find everything there. That's true. Even even some of、yeah. your favorite television shows are on YouTube right now, so that's good. Okay. Lights off or lights on? Lights off. Why? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs>、um, when when I get home, when I get home,、uh, everything like disturbs me. I really need some rest, and I'm like turning all the lights off. I'm like just just playing some music on TV or something, and just lay down like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Hot bath or jacuzzi? Jacuzzi. I, I love some jacuzzi right now. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I need some pool, some swimming, and some jacuzzi, and some rest right now. So I love some jacuzzi. All, all that steam, you know, it's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Left-handed or right-handed? Actually, when I was a child, I was left-handed, and really,、uh, still I do some things with the left hand. But when I went to the first grade, my teacher. Made me write with the right hand, so I'm right-handed now. <laughs> Did they? So every yeah, every time, it's actually interesting. Every time, every time you use your your left hand, your teacher would slap you. No, 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 no. Always use your right hand. <laughs> it's like that's what I did when I when I went to, when I went when I went to school. <laughs> yeah. Did that? Ah, no, you can't let your right. Always with your right hand. So that's good. Okay, brown eyes or blue eyes. Brown eyes. I love brown eyes. I actually love like, oh, when I see a girl or a boy with green eyes, I'm like, wow, it's they look so good. They look like so interesting. But I'm more into brown eyes. <laughs> Now you're a model. Do you do you wear contact lenses sometimes, doing your photo shoots?、Uh, I actually do because I can't see further away. I have、uh, lenses with dietary, so that's why I wear them every day. Oh, okay, okay.、Are、But it's not with color. I have brown eyes, and、it、I、is. use them with color. Yeah,、okay. that's why I use. But I use them for once with color, but I didn't like them at all. It didn't fit me. They're not very comfortable. Yeah, I agree. Money or love? Yeah. I think love all the way. <laughs> love is something that will make you. Yeah. <laughs> Love、we all need love, love, but we love also need money. Work and get money, yeah. <laughs> but if you have the right love and the right energy, you'll have the energy to work and make money. So that's true. But you know what? If you have a lot of money, you can also buy love, right? Yeah, and love can be bought. Can be bought, I think. <laughs> <Okay> . Power <laughs> or influence? Sorry,、uh, power or influence? If you have influence in people in people's life, I think that you will have power. So, if you try to influence someone to make something, you have power. So, influence. Okay, that's a good that's a good answer. I, I totally agree. Yeah. Well, it depends on the kind of influence. Are you? Are you you know have a bad influence or a good influence? So it all depends. Good influence all the way. So the way. we'll、true. focus on the good. <laughs> Now, what is your、uh, favorite color? Do you have any favorite color? My favorite color is black. Actually, I love black, and all of my most of my clothing line is in black. Everything like T-shirts. And dresses and everything—they're like black. I love black. Okay. Well, besides black, what is your next favorite color? 
uh, I think pink. I'm not really pink for sure stuff, but I really love pink. Yeah. Oh, pink, pink is beautiful. I like pink too. Yeah. Actually, you know, men look good in uh, wearing pink, pink shirts, I think. They look good. Yeah, actually they do. And t-shirts and shirts, they look so good. And like baby pink, baby it pink. looks so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, if, and even uh, like necktie, yeah, you look good. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> what is your favorite flower? My favorite flower is jasmine. And Ooh. I love, yeah, I love its smell. And every everywhere that I hear like any perfume or something that has jasmine on it, I'm like, it's jasmine in there. <laughs> I can smell it. You can smell and it. One of, yeah, one of my favorite flowers is jasmine. Wonderful. What is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday. Till now, my favorite holiday was the holiday with my best friend in Paris that I mentioned it. Mm -hmm. uh, it was in February and not this year, in 2019. It was uh, for like the days before St. Valentine's and everything was like, Full love. love Paris yeah. was full love. And I was there with my best friend. It was so good. So Valentine's <laughs> we Day. We had a lot of great Just time there. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, do you drink uh, Starbucks coffee? I do, but actually we don't have Starbucks in Kosovo. What? Really? No, we don't. Wow. That's interesting. I thought Starbucks is everywhere. <laughs> anyway. It's not in Kosovo, but one of my favorite drinks in Starbucks is caramel latte. And I'd love to have one right now. <laughs> With uh, cappuccino, right? With cappuccino yeah. and, and, and cinnamon too. That's wonderful. Oh, it cut off. Come back. Come back, girl. <sighs> Come back. What happened to her? I think we had some problems. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It happens. <laughs> it happens. The, con <laughs> the connection. The connection. You know, it's not perfect, but you know, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you 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 like Starbucks. Uh, you drink caramel latte, and mm -hmm. um, you know. But unfortunately, there's no Starbucks in Kosovo. Right. Maybe maybe you should push. Maybe you should push the government, the Kosovo government, to have uh, a Starbucks at least one Starbucks in Pristina, in the capital city. <laughs> that should be that should be your goal. That should be. I will your try goal. to. Yeah. <laughs> your mission. <laughs> I'll try to. <laughs> try to. Now, um, okay, we'll play another game. You just tell me yes or no, okay? Okay. No makeup in public. Yes. Okay. Alcohol. Yes. <laughs> yes. I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> yeah, I want to be honest. Well, you know, you're, you're 21, you're old enough to drink anyway, so hey. Yeah, so, and everyone like not drink, like and be drunk or something, but a glass of wine and dinners and stuff, that's okay, I guess. Right. Smoking. No. Okay. Cosmetic surgery. I'm not into them, but yes, if someone feels good doing them, why not? Yeah. Are you saying you're all natural? Yeah, I'm all natural, <laughs> but uh, if, if something like would make me feel uncomfortable, why not? That's why. Well, I, I noticed you, your hair is lighter because when you won, yeah. it was black. Is that your natural color? Uh, actually, dark brown is my natural color. Okay. Uh, but when I came here, I wanted some change. Mm -hmm. And I cut them shorter and I made some highlights and stuff. Okay. I like it. You, you actually look thinner. Yeah. With, with that haircut. Thank you. Yeah. I really like it. Long mm -hmm. distance relationship. No. Why not? I don't, maybe I think that a lot of long distance relationships work 
and they do like really good. But I'm not a person that could do it, I guess. I wouldn't make it in a long distance relationship because I'm a bit tough. <laughs> <laughs> Online dating. No. Okay. One night stand. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Last one. Nudity. No. Okay, what if they pay you $10 million to post nude? Would you do it? No. no. Why? Come on, be honest. <laughs> no, I'm really honest. No, it's like, it's like something different. And now, so you, I you, have you, you really want to. So I would never do it like for money or something. Okay, that's never. good. I'm glad to know. All right, questions. Would you rather have mm -hmm. more time? Or would you rather have more money? Uh, if I have more time, I would have more money and I'll do more things. So I would love to have more mon more time. Okay. Well, not only that, but you want to have more time with the people that you love. Yeah, and then share some with the people I love mm -hmm. and spend more time with them, go on vacations with them, spend the weekends with them, mm -hmm. and it would be better. That's good. Me, my grandparents. And right. Would you rather know all the world's languages or speak with animals? I told you earlier that if I would have a superhuman power it would be to speak to animals. But I really love learning uh, different languages. And I'm really capable of learning a uh, language really quick because I really get concentrated. Uh, but I would choose to speak with animals. Okay. Um, can you say something in Albanian? <laughs> yeah, I can. I can say I love you all. Okay. How okay? do you say it in Albanian? Sure. You do at the What? Repeat, please. You do at the jetava. You do at the jetava. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> Next question. Would you rather get the vaccine for COVID or not? Actually, not. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, because um, I had the COVID earlier. Like, oh, you did? Earlier. And it was, I passed it really easy so i would love to give the opportunity to someone older to get the vaccine yeah. right yeah well yeah that's true because not everybody can um take the vaccine yeah it's yeah. true not everyone can get vaccine so that's why yeah is the vaccine already available in kosovo not yet no yeah unfortunately not yet not yet. Okay. But hopefully someday it will be, and it should be free for everybody, I think. Hopefully soon, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, would you rather have dinner on top of the Eiffel Tower or dinner on a yacht? Mm -hmm. Difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I love Paris a lot, but I'd love to have dinner in a yacht. A uh, yacht. Okay. Why? Is it more get some swim after that and then get some food and then get <laughs> swim again. <laughs> That's good. Now, would you rather get a brand new house or a brand new car? I really love cars and I'm always like every time a new car like gets out, I'm like the first one to look at its interior and its speed and everything about it but i think that it's more worth it to have a brand new house mm -hmm. so i love a brand new house <laughs> <laughs> would you rather go skydiving or bungee jumping mm, i'm not a person that loves adrenaline that much i don't know why but i'd love to try skydiving once okay yeah would you rather go on vacation with friends or go on vacation with your boyfriend or with your husband? Uh, it's, it's like two different things. 
but for <laughs> can I do both here? <laughs> Both? Okay. I'll just both, please. I need two vacations. Two vacations. <laughs> yeah. I think we can work it out. <laughs> okay, thank you. Can, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, everything, everything can be arranged. Okay. Yeah. Now, Christmas is only what? How many days away? Like 18 days away, I think? Yeah, I guess. Now, um, what are your plans for Christmas? And do you have a Christmas wish? My plans uh, for Christmas aren't arranged yet, but I think those days I'll have some shootings for New Year's New Year's Eve program uh, that will be shot in the 31st of December mm -hmm. for the New Year's Eve. So I guess I'll be on shooting that day. Ooh, okay. Yeah. And my wish is for the next year, for 2021, to this pandemic situation to be all over and everyone get back to their lives and to their work and everyone gets stabilized for their work. I'd love to. It was such a hard year for everyone. Right. I, I think I think we all wish the same. Um, I think we, we all miss living the normal life. We need to yeah, go. Yeah, I miss <laughs> hugging people. And I miss giving love to oh, people. Oh, you know, tell like, me about it. I hate wearing yeah. masks. I don't like wearing masks, but you know, I have to wear it when it's necessary. But other than that, I don't have the patience to wear, especially when you when you're traveling on the plane. Imagine if you're traveling for more than three hours wearing a mask. You have to be wearing your mask all the time. Yeah, it's so difficult. It's so difficult. And now I can understand why um, I have a lot of I have a lot of sympathy towards uh, the first um, frontliners. The people who work in hospitals, doctors and nurses and emergency people, you know, who work directly with COVID-19. So I really admire these people. So it's wonderful. A lot of respect for yeah. all of them. Yeah, I know. Right. So, <laughs> so I really enjoyed this interview. I think we have to do it all over again. Hopefully the connection is much better next time. Now, yeah, be so. yeah, before I let you go, would you like to say a message to your fans, to uh, the world, to Kosova uh, as Miss Globe 2020? Uh, I would love to thank everyone that supported me in this journey and made me feel so good with all of the kind messages that I got from all over the world and I didn't have time to reply to all of them and I want to say all of them thank you and I want to say a special thanks for the organization of the Miss Globe 2020 and a special thanks and too much love for my friend that I met there Gene Flores and I can't wait to meet him next time I hope to meet him really soon he was such a good friend and advisor for me well, you know what? I agree. Gene Flores is wonderful. Actually, I want to give him a shout out because of Gene, this interview would not have been possible. So I thank thank yeah, you, Gene, you know, for, for this interview. And also, uh, I would like to thank the Miss Globe organization for allowing this interview. So, Lorinda, darling, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stay safe. And I shall be following you on Instagram. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be stalking you on Instagram. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. I had a lot of fun in this interview and it was one of my favorite interviews ever. So I want to thank you very much for the opportunity and I hope to meet you again. <laughs> well, yeah, hopefully I've never been to Albania. Who knows? Maybe, maybe next year, you know? Yeah. Why not? When everything, I hope it's over soon. So. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, we, we really have to meet because I've never, I've never, I've never gotten out of the United States for like three years. So I need to travel. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? And I need to visit you in Kosovo, in Kosovo one of these days too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a plan together. Listen, thank you thank so you much. Very much. Virtual kisses, virtual hugs. Thank you all. Kisses. <laughs> <Virtual> <laughs> Take Bye. care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.